Welcome back to Character Select. We just got an achievement. Yeah, I didn't see what it was, though. Sweet I wonder if we got this because we didn't give her a Bleeding Jane. It's possible. Yeah. Anyway. We, we, we did our duty <clears throat> as a bartender, and we did not serve her the drink she asked for. But the drink that she needed. Exactly. All right. We mixed drinks and changed, changed lives. lives. God damn it, third. Now you want a cigarette so you can kill yourself slowly? <clears throat> Sorry, I haven't smoked since high school. But don't mind me, though. Smoke ahead. Thanks. So, why me? You're the closest friend I have nearby that isn't avoiding me, and and I think I'm about to explode. Why? Is it the ticking time bomb that's in your chest? It's because I'm afraid. I'm terrified. I'm scared. My colonel was using me when I made that errand. He saw me as a disposable bond. I'm sorry. My <clears throat> colonel... I will punch you again. <laughs> then the whole thing got closed at the bank. We were stuck there with no food or water for three days. I, I saw a man be beaten to death after he found some snack in his pocket that... that I... I... That, that, that. When I was in rescue duties, I usually dealt with collapsing buildings, fire, that kind of stuff. But seeing people do that to other people is just... I... I... Calm down. No one will hurt you here. Sure. I'll make sure of it. Just take deep breaths. I can't even imagine what happened there, and truth be told, I don't want to imagine it. But it's easy to tell you that... It's easy, easy to, tell. to tell you... It's easy, it's easy to, tell to tell that you bottled up everything while you were there. Is it obvious? Kind of. Well, I had to get out of there. Fear would have only gotten in the way. Fear's the mind killer. And besides, I made a promise to come back to... Uh... Alright, what's the deal with Stella? Nothing, I'm just... Afraid? The word loses meaning after using it so much in so little time. This is getting, like, super fucking heavy. <laughs> like, shit. I think that's gonna be the rest of this game. <laughs> God damn it. <clears throat> She should have been worried sick, and I couldn't call her after I came back. I'm afraid of what she'll say. She won't insult you. She looks like that kind of girl. But I'm betting all I have that she'll quickly be happy that you're fine and alive. Yeah, you're right. Think about it this way. A slap or despair for what's left of her life? I wouldn't pretend to disappear, I mean... Besides, from what you tell me, you're pretty much... Only coming to your senses today, right? Yeah. It's weird how everything can change in such short notice, you know? On Thursday, I was a girl doing her duties, minding only her own business. Now I'm injured and woke up to find out I can't go back to those duties. Part of me is happy. I, I knew full well the White Knights usually did more harm than good. On the other hand, I really love my job. Now I'm stuck with nothing to do. Yeah, I know how that is. Life-changing on such... Uh, on such short notice part, I mean. Really? I would tell you why I know that, but I think you should go see Cell right now. Yeah, you're right. Speaking of which, hey Gil. What? Do me a favor and escort Say to wherever she needs to go, please. Only if you cover my share of the work. Yeah, yeah. Okay then. Let's go, miss. Right. Thank you for hearing me out, Jill. Anytime. Well, I hope she comes back. <laughs> Too Jesus. much heavy stuff lately. Jukebox. Ready. I'm going to click this button so you can actually see what's playing. <clears throat> <clears throat> hope everything goes all right. Ah, hey, Jamie. Dun, I never dun, asked dun. for this. <laughs> um, Jamie? Ah, uh, Jill. Gillian isn't here, I see. Are you alright? You look distracted. I'm fine, don't worry. If you say so. Jill! Where do I take four if he needs to use the bathroom? Cage has a small litter box included. That's helpful, but also mean to the cat. Yeah. Oh, that's convenient! Four? Four's my cat. Some apartments in my building are being inspected today. Well, inspected, they're being raided by people for loot. 
<laughs> for loot. What are you, in an RPG? Jesus. Yes. I mean, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> so I brought him to work in a case they enter my place while I'm gone. Ah, I see. What can I get you? The usual gut punch. Coming right up. Gut puncher. Lots of brats. Flanner guy. Super manly. Make it a big drink. I don't know if I can. Aged and mixed. No, I can. Yeah. No. <clears throat> it's supposed Super to mean a punch man. made of innards, but the name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. Here. I thought when someone ordered a gut punch, you had to make a joke. About giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. Oh, that? In theory, yeah. Gil's the only one that pays attention to that, though. So, if the BTC is trademarking drinks, then the drinks have to be served in a, served in a specific way. Which means that whoever invented that drink specifically said, when you are serving this drink, you have to make a stupid joke about punching someone in the gut. <laughs> yeah. That's The future dumb. of drinks. Really? He didn't receive proper training. He read a, an old manual my boss had. There was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say punts. That seems like it was this, some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. I mean, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act. That is called a canary trap. So there's actually this thing where you can write uh, official government documents in such a way that it... The people that see it are driven to quote from it. And if every copy is specifically different, then if they quote from it in a certain way, then you can see whose copy it belonged to and therefore who leaked the information. Uh huh. So that's called the canary trap. It's actually super interesting. It doesn't have much use anymore because of the uh, easy way to spread information now, but right. it used to be really cool. Like when the dictionaries added fake words to spot if someone just copied all of it. Yep. Why not tell him that? It's too amusing, to be honest. So what's in your mind that's distracting you so much? Nothing you should think about too much. It's like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. Oh! Anxieties. Or yeah, panic I'm attack. familiar. Yeah. Panic attack, high five! Whoops. You might have actual reasons to feel that way, though. Come to think of it, mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? I like to see what I do as bounty hunting, actually. How so? The only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. There are some people willing to pay off someone that has done... Ah, uh, let me try that again. There are some people willing to pay off someone that has done no wrong. Mm -hmm. Willing like... to pay to off someone. Oh, is that what he said? Yeah. There's a... Willing to pay to off someone. I apologize. Yeah, okay. Things like killing someone that owns a house in the way of some building or a nosy reporter. I'm not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not going to be the one dealing with those. Bounty Hunter Park comes where? If I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing, and I get paid for it, you can see it as bounty hunting. You are hunting a bounty. That's true. Yeah, I guess. Unless you're commissioned beforehand. Or if you're See, a retainer. It, yeah, if you only get paid when you bring the person in, dead or alive, and you choose dead, it's a bounty hunt. But if you're paid ahead of time to go kill someone, then you're, you're an just assassin. an assassin. Yes. And if you're on retainer... You're a hitman. Yes. Which, surprisingly, the Mafia did not have very many of. Independent contractors, really. No, they actually... Because the, the the Mafia didn't actually like to kill people. Surprising as that may seem. but well, they, didn't they, didn't, to, they, didn't, they didn't like to give people concrete shoes? No, they actually preferred to make money and not attract police attention. And killing people attracts police attention. You're <laughs> telling me the media has gotten it wrong all these years? Yeah. 
I don't believe a you. A mafia hitman was uncommon, and it was basically just a guy who did other things, and also occasionally killed people. Nah. I'm not saying there were no hitmen, I'm saying it was not very common. Anyway, right. It's just cheap justifications for killing people, though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be the one to kill for petty reasons like those. But let's change the subject here. I'll have something bitter, if you don't mind. Huh? Sure. Maybe something right. manly would be better. Let's not do the gut punch. How about the suplex? There we go. Something bitter. But is that bitter? Yeah, it's bitter and manly. Okay. Uh, the only other option is the pile driver, which is... bitter and manly. No. Yeah. Or we could do the sunshine cloud. <laughs> oh, God. It does have Bronson extract. All right. I don't think he'd like a grizzly temple. No. So, yeah, suplex. Rocks. Oops. Yeah. Four and three Six, and three. Six, seven, eight. No, because there's not enough. Damn it. Wait, there is. Five, six, <laughs> seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, there you go. Here? Ah, uh, yes. Just reminded me of my grandpa. He used to eat Bronson roots every afternoon. He said they made him stronger. Bronson roots have more nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. Grandpa knew what he was doing. Seems I always managed to make you uncomfortable, Jill. Sorry. Ah, no, don't worry. Although I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole taking human life thing. So one of the first I mean, things that you learn in the military is to not think about it. <laughs> yeah. Because there is a natural human aversion to killing another human. And in the military, they teach you how to not think about that or to view them as anything other than inhuman targets. That 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 is why, like during wartime, we we put up that propaganda so much, like dehumanizing the enemy. Yes, because if you see them as human, it makes it harder to kill them. In yep. fact, I'm going to go off on a bit of a tangent here. You've heard about the Christmas uh, celebration in World War One, right? Yes. So a lot of people where, have heard about where yeah. they just got yeah Christmas Day, 1914, I believe it was. Um, the British and the French had one trench and the Germans in the other trench. It was Christmas Day. One side threw apples to the other side or whatever. You know, everybody was like, hey, let's let's stop shooting and just have Christmas Day and blah, blah, blah. And everybody has mm -hmm. heard this story. What most people haven't heard is what happened after, which is that the fucking brass said, shit, we can't let this happen ever again, because if they see the other side as people, they won't fight. Mm -hmm. So they specifically ordered people to shoot the other side, both sides, like Germans and uh, the uh, the uh, Entente powers. Basically, go out there and kill one guy. You have to shoot one guy by like the end of the day, December 26th, which then got the other side pissed at you because that was somebody's friend. And they then tried to kill you and you tried to kill them back because they were now trying to kill you. And that's how they continued the war. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. It is. It's so, It's weird. And now you also see this shit in other things other than war, like politics and religion. Yes. So don't dehumanize people you disagree with, people. They're humans. Yes. Like some of them as humans. Bullying has a lot of roots in that, too, which is mm, what drives yeah. me nuts. You don't bully people that you respect. You bully people that you don't like or that you don't see as people. Yep. Anyway. <sighs> no, you've killed people and are now talking to me here? It's weird. Reminds me of when I first took sex ed classes. <laughs> I could never look at my grandparents the same again. <laughs> I couldn't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. <laughs> <laughs> and living normally. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike with sex ed, it's better that you stay that way, my dear. Taking lives is not something you should get used to. Ah, oh, yes, I know a good way to change the subject a bit. Let's talk would, about sex ed. Would you like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city? The way you said that was like offering a tail to a bored kid. But yeah, I'd like to hear that one. 
You see, there was actually a bounty hunter organization in this city not too long ago. Law enforcement would put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay for the proof of that person's death. U.S. military did the same thing, too. Mm-hmm. Um, did you ever play um, the first Mercenaries game? No. So in the first I don't Mercenaries even know what that game, is. Mercenaries and Mercenaries 2? No. Big open world game where you have to hunt down people? Nope. The, they had that commercial. Oh, no, you didn't. No. Oh. Well, anyway. Well, it, what, what system was it on? It was on, like, uh, the end of the second generation, beginning of the third generation for the sequel. What is this? Or the, sorry, the the PlayStation 2 generation and uh, beginning of the PlayStation 3 generation. Ah. Oh, so Xbox okay. and Xbox 360. No. I don't. Anyway. In that game, you had to hunt. In the first Mercenaries game, you had to hunt down the deck of fifty-two, which was fifty-two targets, all assigned a playing card. And they totally stole that from the actual U.S. military doing that in the Iraq War. The second one, number two, the the re-arrakening. Anyway, the re-arrakening. There was a guy everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black coat, black clothes. The interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide bloodstains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top-notch. His information network was the best. Also, sorry. Last time for this, I swear to God. I'm sorry that we're going off on so many tangents here. I just feel like telling stories today, apparently. Uh-huh. Some even joked he would finish the bounty within half an hour or he couldn't take the reward. He was too good, in fact. At one point, he took all bounties and didn't take a single reward. He was just that crazy by then. The last bounty that the organization ever posted was on James Head police had him cornered. His last words were send it all to my account before shooting himself. What? So they, they, they're they like, oh this guy's fucking great. He's doing all our bounty work for him. Let's put a price on his head. Because if, he I mean, if he didn't take the price, he was just killing people. Yeah. That's true. But he's killing people that you want killed anyway. But he's just killing people. It's not okay. Yeah. It's vigilantism. But at the same time... No, it's not, because they're putting the price on his head. He used to work for them. He's still doing the work. But he just doesn't he's not care getting about paid. the money. Right, but he's not getting paid, and therefore it's not cool. Refusing there has to, the money ha- isn't the same. It has to be a transaction. Uh, I suppose. It's just... It, I swear to God, it's a weird legal thing. But it's also like it an is. ethical thing. If you're just killing people because you want to kill people, then you're just killing people. You're a murderer. But if you're right. killing people and then getting paid for it, you're a you're a hired gun, but you're not a murderer. You're doing it for a reason. He was just killing people. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's a, it's I, a I see that. super splitting hairs line, but I can. But that's probably why. We'll see if they they uh, follow that up though. Why hasn't that been made into a movie? So. There were no more bounties after that? A registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter using his old targets as proof. Somebody else tried to recreate the organization, and the seed of doubt would grow in little to no time. What guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap? They could use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals, and then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges using their targets as evidence. Yeah, there. So, no. Jed Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Were you part of that organization? I've actually had those suspicions I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. You didn't answer my question. Did... Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if maybe I clicked too quickly. Yeah. Just completely avoided it. <laughs> I don't know how well you changed the subject, but it was certainly one interesting story. Just to make sure, you're not a rebuilt Jet Black James or something, right? The name James is pretty common, Jill. Besides, if I remember correctly, his real name was actually Theodore. Oh. That story left my throat a bit dry. Get me a beer, please. Sure. Good old beer. 
Usually we reserve those for Doug Demidome, owner of the Dimsdale Demidome. Donovan D. Dawson. Yeah, Who? Doug Demidome. Look, I Did heard I what you fucking said. Stutter. Beer. Here. One of mankind's oldest friends. Cheer. Cheers. God, I can talk to Cheers. Today. One obvious thing I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill in your stride the way Jillian does. Gillian, Gillian. does. I'm not good with violence. That's good. It's interesting, though. When I compare you two, it's obvious Gillian has seen quite the share of traumatic stuff. That guy's a handful because of that sometimes. So I'm pretty sure he's like a 007 or something. Maybe. Still, it's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? I asked him to keep an eye on a girl that came here earlier. I feel if something happened, he could resolve the situation. His nose must be itching after we've talked so much about him. Yeah, maybe. It's ears, actually, Jill. No, the ears burning. Yeah, but your nose doesn't itch. Your ears burn. You can sneeze if somebody's talking about you. That's a Japanese mm -hmm. thing. Oh, it's okay. Well, I've got to go. Send my regards to your boss and Jillian. Gillian. Whatever. I'll never get that hey right. Hey, boss! Jamie sends his regards. <laughs> also, it's not a bomb, probably. <laughs> Will do. Man, today's been quite heavy. Everyone... Wait. If I say <laughs> it out loud, I feel like I will just tempt fate. But let's try it anyways. Everyone has just been gloomy face after gloomy face, and that dog. I sure hope the next client changes that. <laughs> so you oh! still- Oh! <laughs> Fuck. How long has it been since I did this guy's voice? This is voice? like first episode. God damn it. This is the guy that fucks whose puppies. daughter died. So he <laughs> hires the, the- The prostitute girl. To be his- To pretend to be his daughter. Yeah. Also, he fucks puppies. Or wants to fuck puppies. Does he? <laughs> no, but we made that a really big oh, joke. okay. <laughs> so you still work here? I knew it! Uh, I mean... Quite the surprise to see you here again, Mr. Ingram. Got out of my job, needed a drink badly, and I remember this crack house was nearby. What can I get you that? I'll have a bleeding Jane. Some crack? Since this is a crack house? <laughs> do you, no. Uh, yeah, I can't do that. No, wait, maybe I can. I'm gonna try. It's just double the ingredients. Do, 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 Tastes just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. Watered down, artificial, and nasty. Ah, so where do you work, Mr. Ingram? Trying not to punch you. I don't have a specific job, but there's this, well, network of engineers in need of assist. assistance. I have no idea what they do there, but I can follow instructions and that's all they need. Recently I've been- I'm sorry if this isn't the same voice, I don't care. It's been too long, I'm not gonna look it up. <laughs> Recently, I've been working on this. Uh, the recently, I've been working with the Cilia girl, working on some experimental power suits. My only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's this about a network? All those nerds know each other, and they recommend me. I don't ask questions and quickly learn to do whatever they need. Huh? Sounds nice. It's pretty monotonous at times, though. Why are you giving me that look? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. We all have good days and bad days. Today just happens to be a not bad day. Yeah. Besides, if everyone's scared shitless in their houses, the streets are clear with no traffic jams. That's always a plus. I guess. It almost became a bad day, though, thanks to some teens on the way here. What did they do? It's not what they did. It's what they said. They, they called me dog fucker. <laughs> they were talking about how they should just go to Zaibatsu Corp's HQ and blow it up. I've seen one too many kids throwing around that let's kill the king attitude when it comes to Zaibatsu Corp. Crap. Even if Zaibatsu Corp's building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would still be alive. 
killing a head honcho just means his or her duties go to the next rim job around the totem. <laughs> Hell, I bet they're plotting to kill each other's anyway. Kinsey Stacy, too many action fills, and the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. Don't let it get to you. I don't, I just hate teenagers. It's interesting, though. A big corporation in control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government? Yes! Yes! I wouldn't know. I'm not a political person. No shit. Alright, give me a Zen star and try not to mess it up. Come and right up. Now he wants a god awful drink. Yep. Four of each ingredient. Ah, you fucked it up. Shut up. You forked it. It's the problem with going too fast. You gotta go slow and steady. That's how you win the race. Ah! On the rocks. Ah, I'm gonna surf in this. No. No. <laughs> Doop. God, it looks awful. Here? Yes, it's just as nasty as I've heard. Why order it then? Not your problem. This is my daughter's favorite drink. She got hella uh, wasted. That's how she died, actually. Did you say she died Alcohol. at six? Yeah, she's been drinking since she was two. <laughs> so where's the... <laughs> couldn't, uh, you know, beat it out of her. You know, we tried jumper cables. <laughs> it, just, it just made her drink even more. Don't follow this guy's parenting advice that we're putting <laughs> into his mouth, please. So where's the red comet? My boss? She... Jill... Four's headed your way. Let's play, Four! Let's play! Well. Oh, a customer! Sorry for the intrusion. You have a dog here? And a cat? The cat's mine. His name's Four. The dog just hangs around here? He looks well-groomed and his fur looks healthy. Seems you take good care of him. You seem to know a lot about cats. Okay, you're talking about the cat, not the dog. Yeah. No, it that's just, just... We know you, you're kind of sexually attracted to the canine variety. <laughs> God, he's never going to live that down. No, that's just common sense. Do you like cats, Mr. Ingram? I don't dislike them. But I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. So I'll take my leave. Please come again? Don't count on it. You said that last time. Congratulations, you scared a client off. Four's as guilty as me. Yeah, but I like Four. He's my baby. He's my fur baby. Now go. Play or something. Right! Go catch this ball. Oh, oh you're back. What happened with Say? It's Gillian. That cat boomer girl picked her up. I couldn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Glad to hear that. Did I miss something? Only Jamie and some other guy came. I see. You look exhausted. Yesterday was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. I don't mind it, but dealing with them tired me out a little bit. I actually found myself wanting Dorothy to burst in out of that door at any moment. So you missed Dorothy? Kinda. Anyway, nothing a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's just wrap things up around here and call it a day. Alright. Flawless service bonus and playing with your cat was really fun. Bonus. Here's $300 for letting me play with your pussy. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Hey! It High counts! Five. High five. <laughs> Alright, uh, next time on Character Select, uh, December 21st. We're motoring along, it feels like. Yeah. Only a hundred dollar in tips, though. Yeah, we didn't serve that many drinks. I mean, about the normal number of drinks. We served one to the dog, two. and then two, two to the dog, two to say, three to Jamie, and two to to Mr. Ingram, and that yeah. was it. It's like four to five each. Yeah, it just seems like it wasn't a lot. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And third. 
what question do you have for everybody out there today? Um, if you could have one of your pets be elevated to human intelligence, like like Rad Sheba, and they would become their own person, would you do it in what one of your pets? I only have one. It's a cat. Would you do it? She's smart enough. Okay. <laughs> I don't want her to get any smarter than she already is. She might figure out thumbs. Oh no. 